να, το, να του μιλήσει, να το συναντήσει και αμέσως μετά, αμέσως τώρα θα δείτε τη συνέντευξη που έδωσε στον συνάδελφο Νέιτον Μόρλι, ο διάσημος αυτός επιστήμονας. Pierre Luminet is one of the leading thinkers in the world of astrophysics. He's in Cyprus for a series of lectures and he's taken time to join us here on CYBC. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. I, I was just wondering, is it curious people who become interested in the universe? Well, well I think that uh, in fact uh, there are more many curious people that we could think about because uh, I could check that that, that uh, when I, when I give popular conferences um, in front of very large audience or when I write uh, popular essays about uh, difficult things like black holes uh, wrap around universe big bang in fact uh, there are a lot of people really interested in, in this question and also now when we go to, on the internet we can see all the uh, discussions the forums about these questions mm -hmm. For, from what I understand, you say we could be living in a fairly exotic universe shaped like a football. Yes. Can you explain that? Yes. Is it so exotic? <laughs> it <laughs> sounds ball. exotic. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, well the, uh, the name of the football universe uh, was in fact a journalistic invention after the publication of uh -huh. one, uh, my paper uh, in Nature in 2003. In fact, uh, well, I was always interested as as a mathematician because i'm not an astronomer i'm rather a, a, a theorist uh, dealing with mathematics to uh, imagine uh, well some models of the physical world i was always fascinated by the idea that uh, the real space the real universe could be uh, not infinite but finite mm -hmm. without edge because it has no meaning to imagine that mm. space can have boundaries uh, and that uh, in fact uh, the space could be uh, uh, reconnected in some part. So uh -huh. the image of a football, well, it's not a good image, but it's come. It if it, it's a little bit like if you lived in a kind of 3D video games. Okay, you are inside uh, a volume uh, limited apparently by pentagons, which yes. tile or kind the surface of a football. Uh -huh. Okay. But uh, you travel inside a balloon with a rocket, yeah. for instance, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, on a straight line. When you arrive at uh, a pentagonal boundary, since it's not a real boundary, we just reappear on the other side, right. like in a video game. Yeah. Okay, so you create mathematically a kind of space which is finite, without edge, and uh, which is reconnected. And this kind of model that I propose in 2003 can explain some observed properties of the universe. Now, do you believe that the laws of physics are the same throughout the universe? Oh, it's a very important question. In fact, uh, we, uh, we observed already uh, the faraway universe which, which has the same properties than the local universe. Because the laws of physics uh, can be, uh, are inscribed, in fact, in the mm. property, for instance, of light. Yeah. But when you receive light from a very far away galaxy, for instance, uh, uh, you can check that in this galaxy, the things happen exactly the same way uh, as they happen here mm -hmm. uh, in space. But also uh, remember that w w when you observe the far away galaxy, you don't observe the galaxy now. You observe the galaxy when it emitted yeah. the light several billion years in the past. And you also check that in the past, the laws of the physics were, were also the same than today. Can you tell us a little bit uh, about why you're here on the island, where, where you are giving a series of lectures? Yes, because, uh, well, for me it's very important to, uh, to make a popularization of science and, uh, well, difficult but fascinating concepts about cosmology, mm -hmm. black holes and all that life in the uh, universe. So I devote a large part of my time not only in pure research but also in making all this uh, uh, job of uh, writing popular books and giving a conference uh, mm -hmm. all around the world. Okay, so in fact uh, I was just contacted here by the, 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 the uh, the embassy to give uh, conferences and uh, regularly all uh, the year I travel abroad to give, uh, to give conferences at different levels. Uh -huh. Some conferences for a school like yeah. this morning, mm -hmm. conferences for the uh, uh, local university in the Department of Physics, a little bit more advanced, and conference for general uh, audience. Now I understand that you have a star named after you. 
How did that come about? What is the story behind that? Oh yes, because in fact uh, the astronomer.